Hey everybody, I'm here today at a park where I've got some trees that are in right about the right distance to show you guys how to do a ridge line for setting up tarps because I have watched so many videos, so so many videos of everybody trying to say this is the most simplest, this is the most easiest, this is the most straightforward ridge line. There, there's lots of ridge line titles out there if you type in on YouTube uh, the no not ridge line and they're just they're, they're over complicating but yet still saying that it's simple and they're really not I mean it is and it isn't it all depends on the eyes of the beholder right everybody's got their own views as far as what's simple and what's difficult what might be super super simple to me may be extremely difficult for somebody else it's that's just not everybody's got the same experience got the same knowledge and uh, and the same abilities right this is with a relatively small to medium sized tarp I've only got about seven six and a half feet of tarp uh, from corner to corner here attached to this ridge line so it's a very short tarp I'm going to show you later a much larger tarp and that spans a much wider distance between these two trees but I'm going to show you where I see there being a fault in this super super common uh, relatively easy setup again super easy for me but relatively easy for those who set up bridge lines and, and do tarp uh, shelter systems okay so let me take bring you in and I'll give you a closer look at, uh, at how this one's set up So, have a tree here, single one piece line of paracord, standard 550 paracord, typical paracord that you can buy really, really inexpensively uh, just about anywhere these days. Go into another tree that's about 16 and a half to 17 feet away. All right, and it's being set up using a knot, a very relatively basic fairly easy to learn if you can tie your shoes I'm sure you can tie this this is called a Prusik or Prusik knot uh, either pronunciation is correct there's you're not wrong one's not wrong and one's right Prusik Prusik same thing tomato tomato potato potato right okay so and then I've just got it you know with a care any kind of carabiner clip to to uh, the loop or ring whatever your tarp has right okay so the idea with this knot is is it can easily be slid this way to loosen it and or tighten it as tight as you want to get it and in the friction is a friction based knot so that when you pull in on the loop here this provides enough tension on the line enough friction so you pull on this part it doesn't go you pull on the whole knot itself that's wrapped around this ridge line uh, it will slide either way so that's how that knot works if you can tie your shoes you can tie this knot so there's confidence for you you can do it <laughs> uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Alright, so then if your tarp has multiple tie-out points, you can run your ridge line through those if you want, or you can attach them with little carabiner clips of, of any sort or type. And then you've got the other Prusik knot uh, on the other end attached to the other corner, and that's how you set it up. Now, then you go to, well, let's start on tree one. Tree one you do a basic hitch any kind of hitch I mean really there's not a knot that you could go wrong with here you're just getting the the line around the tree and connected together in some kind of knot of some for, form or fashion okay it, what matters is this end this is where you're cranking down and this is a very very popular knot system uh, used to crank down for a ridge line it is the uh, the trucker's hitch okay so you create a, a loose loop here uh, that can easily come out and be undone about a foot to two feet 
away from the tree, right? That gives you good good length to be able to crank down and get rid of uh, any and all slack out of it. And then I do something just a little bit different than some people. Some people do it this way. Many others, I mean, it's just there's not really a wrong way as long as you have the concept of wrapping it around the tree at least once. I prefer two to three times, and then you join it, join it up here in some kind of a knot, some kind of a knot, so that that holds it to where it won't come undone under the amount of tension that's being placed here but this allows you to crank down and get as much slack out of this and get it as taut as possible okay so oh. this is again this trucker's hitch is not exactly a simple knot it is mildly easy to learn how to do but it's I would not put it as an easy as tie your shoe type knot. There, there is some more effort needed in order to do this at this end. If you're not skilled, if you're just starting out and have no experience doing this, then that's gonna be mildly challenging for some, okay? So I don't, if for, for first timers, for newbies, I don't recommend doing that. I'm gonna show you a totally different way to avoid all of that if you feel like you need to avoid all that. All right, so going back to the truckers, or not the truckers, <laughs> the, the Prusik knot, Prusik, Prusik, whatever, all right? So you have, this is the logistical concept that I want everybody watching this video to think about. No matter whether or not you're brand new to this or you're a very, very experienced bushcrafter, if you've been doing this for uh, setting up tarps like this with the ridgeline for decades and are try, tried out a, one or two different ways or tried out a whole handful of ways, I don't care. This is the part where I want anybody and everybody to think about this. Okay, When you put in tension here, you're putting tension on this part that's going to the tree, right? That's what this this Prusik knot is doing. It's putting that friction there and it's pulling from this part on one side and then on the other side it's pulling from the part that again goes to the tree in the opposite direction. So the greatest amount of tension on this ridge line setup using Prusik knots is here between the knot and the tree and the knot in the tree. That means this is the this is the nuts part. Ready? I'm gonna mind blow you right freaking now. This is the what causes more slack between the two. Between the two. So between each prussic knot, where the tarp is attached to the ridge line, where you want a ridge line. Now think first, ridge line is rigid, okay? So you want this thing as rigid as possible. That's why you're using you know assist assist knot system at one end in order to get this thing as tight and taut as possible. So now what you've done is using prussic knots. It sure as hell is tight here, but it's not tight here anymore. The in between, the part of the ridge line that the tarps attached, where you want the ridge line to be the most taut, where you want it to have the most rigid structure, because it's a ridge line for your tarp. So this part has the most amount of slack. It's tight here and it's tight at the other end, but there's nothing, a whole bunch of slack here. So, what a handful of YouTubers out of the 20 plus videos that I watched, I probably watched closer to 40, but in a handful of videos, I saw people do using a carabiner or an S beaner or something in order to uh, wrap this guy and, and pull out, remove the majority of this slack. Now this particular setup, because this tarp is only is only a little over six feet from, from Prusik to Prusik knot, is it, this slack is not that bad. When you get a much larger tarp, a, a tarp that is 12 feet wide from corner to corner from Prusik to Prusik, there is going to be vastly more slack here and this thing will sag and then if you want to attach a lantern or cookware or anything to that then, then it's gonna just really it's gonna sag even more and at that point you don't your ridge line is not rigid 
it is loose it is sloppy right you don't want that you don't like that you're not gonna like that I'm telling you so it gets rid of the pr the Prusik or Prusik knots and it gets rid of the uh, trucker's hitch down at the one end all right you ready for part two of this where I show my setup and how I do it without the Prusik knot, without the trucker's hitch, with nothing but the Night Eyes Configure 9 carabiners. Two of them. You need two of them. And, and this is how I set up a very easy, simple, no knot ridge line setup. So let's get into it. I'll show you how I did it. The reason why this is so beneficial is one, with ridge lines, you're constantly setting up and putting your your knots, which causes friction on the cordage itself, in the same areas over and over and over and over again. Again, making it weaker and weaker and weaker over time, especially if that's paracord. Paracord does just not hold up nearly as well as the other cordages that I mentioned. So, this is some uh, spectra cord type cord that I purchased off of Amazon. That's the way I set it up with 50 feet of line. That gets me plenty of plenty of extra uh, cordage left. I can go around the tree multiple times. And that's why, and that's what I do. I go around the tree multiple times. And I do it, and once I go around it once, I go back against the line and go the opposite direction. Go over and underneath, and then wrap around the tree again. That gives me, allows me to crank down on the ridge line, on the line that's, that the tarp's connected to all the way through here. That allows me to t cinch that down, and then I go around the tree twice, and then I anchor it to the Configure 9 right here. To the Configure 9. And what you do, you follow, it's got directions on the Configure 9. You go around this part right here you go around that side once and then you go around through here and then it's got little notches and, it's, and it tightens up against the notch, notches and then you go around it again here if you want to you can go around this guy twice it don't really matter but uh, essentially those notches in there are made so that it grabs the the cordage and holds the cordage in place and then and then of course the configure nines cl clipped to the end of the tarp there to to that tarp point there so it's clipped to it so essentially what you're doing is you're creating this ridge line between the two trees so it's, and it's got the same deal going on on the other end and it's supporting the tarp all by its own it the when you crank down on this cordage with the configure 9 clip here you're only you're only tightening you're only tightening between the clip which is to the corner of the tarp to the tree so the tension that you're putting from the from the tarp corner to the tree is only that part of the rope the actual ridge line itself is staying taut from the from having been uh, tightened up around the tree itself so the trees are serving as your anchor points for the ridge line across it's only the tarp is being held in place uh, along the ridge line from the corners to the tree as if it was on its own piece of, of cordage so there's no slack happening on the ridge line there's no slack created on the ridge line with those configure nine knots think about that think about how that works logistically I have the same thing going on at, at this end and that is how you solve that problem that you get with the Prusik knots you take the knots out of the equation you're just going around the tree once to set up and, tight, and tightening down on the ridge line. And then you go from the tree with what cordage you have left. 
you go from the tree to your configure 9 clip and you and you anchor that you tighten crank down on that and you're just wrapping it around the configure 9 the configure 9 is replacing that Prusik knot and you maintain a very taut ridgeline even for a 12 foot wide span of tarp isn't that fantastic I absolutely love this setup now there is one thing that I did to mine that I very much recommend you to do and you don't really have to uh, be good at sewing to do this but when when I cut have my 50 feet of of line of cordage cut okay and the ends burnt um, I I find the middle point and I take some yarn some sewing yarn go between and just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap go between wrap 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 go between wrap 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 but you create this tiny little bulged chunk of sewing string in another color preferably a brighter color so you put that and make a center point so that you know where your center point is and then at the ends I'll show you at the ends here I have some white and it doesn't again it doesn't matter what color just preferably bright colored so you can you know great visual uh, put some of your shrink shrink wrap that you use for for electrical wires you, you get the right diameter shrink wrap and and I put that on the ends so it's like at the ends of your shoelaces you know how it has the little plastic around it so you're basically doing the same thing that serves two purposes one it, it just you know ensures help ensure that the cord doesn't get unraveled but it also creates a nice little rigid uh, end for uh, running it through your your tarp loops and then thirdly thirdly I said two things but thirdly it uh, gives you a visual of where your end is just lets you know right away hey this is where your the end of your string is so there you have it using those night eyes uh, configure nine carabiner clips and doing it like this when it is freezing cold when it's raining when the bugs are absolutely miserable and you just want to get that ridge line set up as quickly as possible, as painlessly as possible, having to do knots, having to make many adjustments with your with your prusik knots and all and, and your and your uh, trucker's hitch and all that, all that effort that it takes to do that when it's when your environment at the moment is miserable. It makes it all that much more difficult, even for somebody like me who knows their knots really well, is very proficient with them. If your fingertips are freezing and it's raining and the mosquitoes are eating you alive, even the simplest knots become a real pain in the rear end. So having these configure nines by night eyes are fantastic. I think it's an excellent tool, an excellent design. Am I still absolutely glad that I know my knots? Absolutely. I can set these things up any way I want to. Any type of knots, any type of, I've done it in so many different ways. But if you don't know those knots and you just want to get out there, those configure knots will make it happen for you. They will. I still strongly encourage you to learn some knots and figure out how to do them and how to set up your tarps in multiple ways, multiple methods. It's greatly beneficial for you because you never know what situation you might possibly be in. But don't be afraid to get out there and set up a ridge line because you don't know any knots or you're just struggle with trying to figure out knots and learn knots. Again, not everybody's great at them. Uh, I understand that we're not all the same, right? That's what I wanted to show you all today. I know this was a lengthy video. I hope you got a lot out of it. I hope that there's more thought process going on in more bushcrafters' minds on what happens with the, with the tension of your ridge line being compromised once you set up those Prusik uh, knots. 
Uh, and this, this is an excellent way to resolve it in a way that doesn't require you, you to use the Prusik. <laughs> and if you got any other thoughts, I'm totally open for them. Put them in the chat, put them in the comments or whatever. Uh, and, and, I'll, and I'll gladly take a look at them and explore whatever you have in mind. I'm, I'm more than happy to, to experiment. It's kind of fun and and take advice from others. But uh, that's really the main idea that I want to pre present is how to do this truly without any knots, not even your Prusik knots uh, being involved, even though they're, they're really simple, for me at least. But yeah, that's it. I, again, hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.